I do not support or condone marital rape in any form. And then, of course, I don't know why his church members are so fine and so hard to believe that the guy who says it's okay to force your wife to have sex with you might also hit his wife as well. Like, because my, uh, dad, loves to my dad loves to misappropriate that verse. When it's saying spouses shouldn't deny sex, that's not saying the husband gets to hold her down and force her. Right. Which is obviously just a ridiculous thing to think and they're just shocked like hey the guy who's not really against rape also hits his wife no this is impossible like how many videos of, are there of him saying that that it's that you can do whatever you want to your wife and people are like oh my husband raped me what in the world that, that how can that even exist that's stupid okay and you say oh pastor anderson you're nuts no you're nuts Anyone who comes up with rape within marriage is an idiot. Oh, oh, you know, I got raped 25 years ago. Shut your mouth. Because you know what? You should have been screaming and yelling the day it happened. That's what the Bible says. Yeah, exactly. And if you weren't screaming and yelling the day that it happened, then shut up. But you bring out these false accusations and you bring out this crap years later. It's impossible for people to defend themselves against. Because I've only had sex with my wife. And it's impossible to rape your wife, idiots out there online. You can't rape your wife. That's not even possible because she belongs to you. Amen? amen? Anybody who didn't say amen is suspect because <laughs> that's what the Bible says. I'm just saying it's what the Bible says. The woman hath not power over her own body, but the man. The, the husband has no power over his own body, but his wife does. When it's saying spouses shouldn't deny sex, that's not saying the husband gets to hold her down and force her, right. which is obviously just a ridiculous Thing to think. But nowhere in here does it say, if they defraud you, force them. You want your wife to hate you, then go ahead. Go ahead and do that. Because that's a surefire way of getting, getting your spouse to, to hate your ever living guts. I want that relationship to be, they want that, I want that. That's exactly the way the relationship should be. And if it's reluctant or it's out of duty, well, we need to work on that. We need to work on that. And we need to, to, to rekindle the fire there. We need to work on a relationship. But beating them is not the case. And forcing them is not the case. You can't rape your wife. That's not even possible. Because she belongs to you. What do you do when leaders fail? I am no longer friends with Steven Anderson. And I had a, I had a discussion with him on Wednesday last week. I, I'm not a crier. <laughs> but, you know, you guys know me better than that. So I as a friend, went to him and told him my thoughts. No one is above reproof. Let's name the names. Jared Pozarnski, Jason Robinson, and you know it's the same crap that Jason Robinson's teaching? By retards like Tommy McMurtry, and Dave Burzins, and Jason Robinson. Trevor Anakin, I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. chosen one it was said that you would destroy this sin not join them you were my brother Anakin I loved you I hate you disappointment Stephen Anderson is strong his words may be but lost his way he has